Hi, gals and guys. Today, you're going to make the little flap book for length in the metric system. So let me tell you what you need. Okay. First off, you need your little baggie of supplies that I um, pinned to your, in your, or put in your math folder. You need this from your math folder, your flap book. You need some glue. I have a permanent glue stick, or you can use some white glue. Just happen to make sure to do tiny dots if you're using white glue. You'll need some tape. You'll need your math vocabulary card envelope. You'll need a pencil, of course. And you need your Go Math book. So hit pause while you're gathering those things up. And then hit play again. Okay, first thing you need to do is turn to the beginning of chapter 9. And on page 602, there's this, this, this game. And then right next to it are the vocabulary cards for chapter 9. Oh, you need scissors too. I forgot that part. So take out your vocabulary card, and I need to get my scissors. Oh, these are the times when it's lonely in here, and I really wish that you were here with me. just getting kind of boring in here because I feel like I'm kind of talking to you but really I'm just talking to the computer so I miss you in other words what I'm saying is I miss you it's getting very lonely in here and the days are starting to just oh, pile up go ahead and cut your cards I just want to give a shout out. I have been correcting the big packets that you turned into me. And it kind of takes me a long time to go through them all. But I, and I haven't done a ton yet. I just do a few every day. But holy cow, I want to give a shout out to Eliana and Natalie. You guys had some seriously beautiful work. So thank you for working so hard. Let's do a clue word while we're at it. Digit. Digit's your clue word. Write it on your calendar. All right. Now, when you go through these cards, you'll notice that quite a few of these are repeats. So digit. Okay. How many digit cards have we gotten? So do you think that... The Go Math people feel like digit is an important word for you to know? Yes, it is. However, just put it back in your envelope for now. Difference, yeah, we've seen this one a few times. Just put it back in your envelope. Just make sure you know what it is. Compare, yeah, we've done some of that. We're not going to use that right now. Add end. Holy cannoli, if you don't know what an add end is by now. Oh, dear. Okay, just put that back in your envelope. Some. Uh, you know what? Just throw this one away. Throw some away. Because we have been over that six quadrillion and a half times, I feel like. They keep giving us this card. So I'm just going to throw this away right now. All right, estimate, we've talked about that. Just put that right in your envelope as well. 
The only cards you need out for this are centimeter and meter. All right. So just put those aside in a safe place. I'm just going to put mine right here. Let's get going on our book. First off, make sure that the fold is on this side so that your flat book opens like this. Okay, so your flat book opens here. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is write our title. Okay, so I'm just going to put my name like just tiny up in the corner. Okay, and then here we're going to write length in the metric system. So length, of course, you need to do it neatly because I'm the neatness queen. You know that. Length, L-E-N-G-T-H, in the, you know, we don't capitalize those because they're not important words. We just capitalize the important words. Length in the metric system. Okay. In second grade, we only do length. In third grade, you'll learn about weight and capacity. You'll learn more things with measurement. But in second grade, we only do length. So underneath this first flap, length in the metric system, we're going to write down that it, we're going to write the metric system, was thought of by a French priest named Father Gabriel Mountain. Mountain, that's how it's spelled, period. So a, a priest is someone in the church, and they didn't have set ways to measure things, and it was a problem. It was kind of like in that King's book, the King's the book about the king's foot so he came up with a standard system that everyone could use so the metric system was thought of by a french priest named father gabriel mountain so hit pause if you need more time to write that down okay All right, let's move on to our second flap right here. And on your second flap right here, you're going to write millimeter. Just like that. Millimeter, M-I-L-L-I-M-E-T-E-R. The abbreviation for millimeter is just M, M, like that, for millimeter. Now, get out your sack. And in your sack, you need to get out one of your little ones. Like that. Now, if we were in class, then I would be the one that would come around and do this, but I'm not there. So you're, you might need 
to have um, maybe a brother, sister, or mom and dad help you if you're having a hard time doing it on your own because we're going to try to cut a millimeter off of this. So this is the same as 10 millimeters. And remember, a millimeter is the width, okay, of a pin. The width of a pin. So you're going to try to cut that much off. So here we go, okay? So I'm going to go like that. You see my teeny little baby strip? That is about one millimeter. Okay, so I'm just going to arrange that on there. And then I'm going to use a little piece of tape. Okay, like, like that big. And I'm just going to stick that right on top. So then I know that I have, that is one millimeter. And while you're finishing that, I found this paper that I've never used before, but it shows a centimeter ruler and the tricky spot. But then it kind of blows it up so that you can see that one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. Now watch what happens when I try counting the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But is a millimeter eleven? Or sorry, is a centimeter 11 millimeters? No. That's why it's super important that we focus on the space. So the space, we count the mountains. This shows one space, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this shows I made 10 mountains that a centimeter is made up of 10 millimeters. All right, you can see how tiny those are there, but they've taken a centimeter and made it big so you can see it. So I liked that. I thought that was perfect for what we're studying. When you're all finished with your millimeter, that extra piece, you can toss this. You don't need that extra one, okay? Now, underneath our millimeter flap, we're going to write the word. I'm just going to refold that so I'm not writing over the line. It is tiny. We know that a millimeter is very tiny. The abbreviation is MM. We'll put that there. And we know that 10 little millimeters is equal to one centimeter. So 10 little millimeters is equal to one centimeter. Now, the, the Latin root on millimeter is milli. Okay, okay, milli. Milli stands for 1,000, okay, because there are 1,000 millimeters in a meter, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. So, millis, whenever you see, like, you know, millipede, the bug, okay, millipede, Milli means a thousand. So whenever you see milli, that means you're talking about a lot. Right? Okay. Let's do a code word. The code word is tiny. Look for part two.